Hello guys, for this video presentation, I'll be sharing to you about the concept of skewness in the descriptive statistics. So skewness measures the deviation of a random variables given distribution from the normal distribution which is symmetrical on both sides. There are three types of skewness that we can have in any, in any distribution. We can have the skewed to the right, or we can say it is the positively skewed distribution. We can also have a normal distribution, which is just like a bell-shaped curve. And lastly, we can have the skewed to the left or a negatively skewed distribution. So for us to be able to find out the, the coefficient of skewness in a particular distribution, we will be utilizing the Pearson coefficient or Pearsonian coefficient of skewness which is given by 3 multiplied the mean minus the median all over the standard deviation. So based from the computed coefficient of skewness, we can be able to have three cases. What the first case is if the coefficient of skewness is less than zero, so we know numbers that are less than zero are all negative numbers. So this can be the values of the negatively skewed distribution or the skewed to the left distribution. If the coefficient of skewness is equal to zero, then automatically this will be a picture of a normal distribution, which is the bell-shaped curve. And the last case is if the coefficient of skewness which is greater than zero, we know that numbers greater than zero are all positive, so we can be able to have a positively skewed distribution or a skewed to the right distribution. Okay, so if we want to apply the formula presented a while back, which is the Pearsonian coefficient of skewness, um, we need to find the value of the mean and the, the value of the median plus the standard deviation. So, let's say for example, we want to find out the coefficient of skewness of this given data. We have 4, 8, 10, 14, 17, 21, 33, and 45. So, we need to find first the mean using the arithmetic formula, arithmetic mean formula, and we will come up with a value of 19 as the as the mean of that given distribution. So how about the median? As you can see in the dis in the given distribution there are two middle scores which are 14 and 17. So for you to be able to pa to to locate the median of this given distribution, we need to get the average or the midpoint of these two middle scores which are which are 14 and 17. So to be able to get the middle score or the middle point, it will be getting the sum of the two middle scores divided by 2 and that will give you a value of 15.5. Okay, so how about the, the standard deviation of the, the given distribution? We will find, we will be using, sorry, so we will be using the, the formula of uh, the standard deviation treating the data as sample. Okay, it is given by the formula the square root of the summation of x minus x is x bar square all over n minus 1. So for you to be able to have values of these given variables in the standard deviation formula, we'll be having or we'll be considering our um, dummy table, okay, a statistical table for this. The, the column headers are the first column we have the, the x variables these are your data or these are your observations and the second column will be your the value of your mean because we need the value of the mean in the formula of the standard deviation so thank god we have the value of the mean since we need it in the formula of the skewness then the third column for the standard deviation computation will be the difference between the observation which is your x minus the mean which is your x bar then after getting the difference we will come up with the fourth column which is the square of the differences so after which we, we will get the sum and that will now be the 
the, the numerator of our formula of standard deviation and that is the summation of x minus x bar is square all over n minus 1 we know n is um, 8 so we subtract 8 by 1 we will come up with 7 so therefore the sum of the given square differences a while back is 1332 so we divide it by 7 and that will give you 190.29 we will now get the square root and that will give you a value of standard deviation which is equal to 13.79 after which since we have now values of this given um, variables in the in the formula of the coefficient of skewness ang, ang gagawin natin is we will now change the variables okay with their respective or corresponding values so we'll come up with 3 multiplied by 19 minus 15.5 all over 13.79 simplifying further we will come up with 10.5 over 13.79 and that will give you a coefficient of skewness of 2.28 um, and that is positive so therefore the interpretation of this um, distribution will be in terms of skewness will be the computed coefficient of skewness is positive 2.28 hence the data is positively skewed or skewed to the right so this will now be the the possible interpretation of the given the distribution a while back in terms of the coefficient of skewness now take note that this is only ungrouped data we will also have another set of formula for group data when computing for the the, the skewness okay so my next video presentation will be all about examples on measures of skewness for for group data so thank you again for watching to my video have a good day everyone